Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to set a warning or alert for a customer as well as for a product in Odoo 17 sales module. As years passes, we will have expired products or unused products in a company which are unfit for selling in the market. So when the customer uses these unfit items, that creates an unsatisfactory result for them. So in such cases, we can set an alert or warning for such product by indicating that or notifying the customers that they are not fit for buying. And we can also set an alert or warning for the customers also. This is used when some customers may be very tricky, like they make order for large quantities of items and they may purchase everything, but they won't make payment. So let's see how we are going to manage the warning or alert in Odoo 17 sales module. Here we're gonna deal with the sales warning in Odoo 17. So let's get into the sales module. And in order to deal with the sales warning first, we have to enable the feature from the configuration settings. So let's drag down. So as you just drag down under the quotation and orders, you can see sales warning that would let you to get the warning in the orders for product or customers. So warning helps to set the warning for the product that are not good for selling or uh, if the products are out of stock and we can also set warning for the customers if they are loyal or disloyal and it is very easy to categorize the product and uh, customers using the sales warning. So as you have just saved the sales warning, you can just uh, yeah move on to the product and let's consider different products. So here I'll be considering uh, three products which is acoustic block screen, cabinet with door and desk stand with screen. So if you want to just set the warning for a product, let's consider a product and under the sales tab, we have an option of setting the warning. Like we can uh, set the warning when selling this product. So uh, here we have three warning options. Like we can set no message and a warning and we can also set a blocking message. So uh, let's see the difference for each of the product. So I'll be choosing the warning as no message uh, for the product acoustic block screen and uh, I'll be choosing uh, like warning um, with a message of out of stock for cabinet with door and I'll be setting the warning uh, as blocked uh, for the product. Um, yeah, desk stand with screen. Okay, and we'll be setting a message like damaged item so that uh, this product cannot be, yeah, uh, cannot be selected in the order lines. Now we can also set the warning for the customers. So let's move on to the customers. And in the customers, we can set the warning for Dequadic, Azure Interior, and uh, yeah, Gemini Furniture. So let me uh, choose Dequadic as my customer. And in order to set the warning, let's move on to the internal node. And I'll be uh, setting no message as a warning on the sale order for this customer. And let's consider other customers who is Azure Interior. And here, you can see that uh, as uh, Azure is a loyal customer, you can set the warning as a uh, loyal customer. And uh, let me um, choose another customer, which is uh, Gemini Furniture. And uh, under the Gemini Furniture, I'll be blocking this customer as the customer is a disloyal customer. Now let's see how the warning is applied in a sale order. So in order to manage with that, you can just move on to the quotations and let's create a new quotation and click on new button and you can choose the customer that is Deco Addict and we have set the warning as no message for the Deco Addict. So no message will be displayed as you have chosen Deco Addict as, you, as your customer. Now let's consider the product Equistic Block Screen. So here you can see that for the product Equistic Block Screen, we have uh, set the warning as no message so that no message will be appearing for the product acoustic block screen. Now let's consider the other product which is uh, cabinet with door. So in case of cabinet with door, you will be getting a warning message of out of stock. So here you can just close this warning, but still you can add the product in the order line. Uh, you can just set a warning like the product is out of stock. Okay. Now, <clears throat> If uh, you want to just use uh, the other product uh, that is desk stand with screen, 
you can uh, set it as uh, like uh, yeah the message of blocking message like a damaged item and this cannot be chosen in the order like which means that as you set the blocking message for a particular product that product cannot be used in the order line because we have just given a warning to block the product okay now let's consider the other situations of setting warning for the customers so we have also set a warning for the customer azure interior as azure is a loyal customer we can just set or just categorize uh, this customer as loyal customer so whenever he is tried to make an order we can just proceed with the order now let me also consider with um Gemini furniture so here you can just search for Gemini furniture and let's choose Gemini furniture as the customer so um uh, here you can see that as we have set a uh, a warning message for Gemini furniture as blocking you can see that we cannot choose this customer in the customer field itself because we have just blocked this customer because this customer is very tricky and uh, he has many interiors he has just made a lot more orders and haven't paid yet so as this customer is a this loyal customer we can just block this customer for uh, making further or future uh, sale orders so we have just blocked this customer so we can just add this customer in the uh, customer field so let me um one with azure interior because he is a loyal customer so you can just uh, add the customer and close this and let's proceed with the order okay and afterwards you can just confirm the order so this is how we manage with the um yeah sales warning for the products and uh, customers in Uru 70. The warning message allows you to remove the unwanted customers and unwanted products from the market. So hope this concept is clear for you as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.